I don't know what I was thinking wearing black out here. It's like a hundred percent human. You said you got this from an Indian shop? Mm-hmm. Have you ever seen that much power in an air nail gun? Well, it's not an air nail gun, it's a cordless nail gun. But this one right here is super serious. You strong enough to lift it up? Oh, Bridget. <laughs> Hold on, go go down there. Go down here? Uh-huh. So, so I can be strong? Yep. Look. Level. Gotta be doing something right.
All right, fam, so I'm gonna show y'all what we got going on. As you can see, <clears throat> we got some of the floor joists in, but we don't got them nailed in. I just put them up here just to see how it was gonna look. Um, it's 16 on center. Oh man, let me see. I got eight up here so far. I gotta go to Home Depot and get five more boards. But once I get them all up, <clears throat> what I'm going to do is I got the joist hangers I'm going to attach right here. But I'm just letting y'all see what we got so far. Progress, progress, progress. Hard work, man. We getting it done, though. Planting some more uh, stuff today over in the garden. Like I told y'all, we got cucumbers. We have uh, tomatoes. All that growing in right here. We have a blackberry tree. What's this? <sighs> Thornless blackberry. So they coming in. y'all around a little bit show you what we have done and the things that we're planning to do in this spot right here we're gonna all the mulch you see right now we got this for free there's actually a place in oklahoma city where they have this big pile of mulch mulch pile Mm -hmm. If you go to Home Depot or Lowe's, they sell in most for like three or four dollars a bag. So that's why I always tell people: drive around, talk to people, get on Craigslist. You know, see if you can find this stuff for cheap, or if you can find it for free. We got the water tank. This is a twenty-five hundred to three thousand gallon tank, and. Uh, this was something that we wanted really, really bad because you need water. Mm -hmm. No matter where you go, you're gonna need water. Down here in that area where you see the truck at, that's gonna be like where we put the pond. We might have like a 10 foot or 12 foot deep um, pond. So we're gonna put it down there. We're just gonna clear out some of the trees and get that set up. Well, we got the wood mill. Now we're gonna tear all of this down. Right here, and, you know, it, look, it looks a little bit messy right now, but then, gonna, this whole area right here is going to be like a, we're going to put like a, a big shed, um, and it's probably going to be like a kitchen area, like an area, you know, we put a library in, you know, all of that, a gathering area, um, and yeah, we got a lot of stuff that we plan to do, we're going to call the mulcher out, he's going to clear all the bushes that you see around here, he's going to clear all of that out. And it's just gonna open up, you know what I'm saying? Open up the land. And you gotta think about it. We got 15 acres. We're only using probably one acre right now. So this is what I'm trying to tell y'all. Like, we're open to people coming out, you know what I'm saying? And, and seeing this, looking at it as an opportunity, you know, to come out and um, build you a cabin or whatever you wanna do. Um, we can work together, we can build together. We can do this, you know what I'm saying? And that's where I'm at with it. So, peace, love, and light. I'm gone. How are you feeling? <laughs> well, it looks like, too good. I think it's 92 degrees out here right now. And um, the humidity is like at 100%. It's hot. It's hard work, man. Yeah. Hard work. This ain't for everybody. Yeah. We gotta get this done. Yeah. So, I made that sacrifice. Hmm.